much attention focused uh, on the number two level of the ticket uh, because of uh, uh, the governor Kalen picked largely. And while there will be time tonight and tomorrow for track checking, uh, those of you following closely along, we had uh, disagreement in numbers. Governor Palin uh, uh, misstated the number of troops uh, in Iraq. Uh, we got the name of the commanding general wrong in Afghanistan. Uh, mentioned a General McClellan, of course, the Civil War era general instead of uh, General McKiernan, whose comments today uh, Joe Biden quoted uh, more than once in the debate tonight. Uh, in addition to Tom Brokaw here with us in New York, in our studios, is uh, the only woman alive to know what uh, Governor Palin went through tonight. Former New York uh, Congresswoman Geraldine Ferraro. Uh, uh, Congresswoman, in looking forward to hearing your assessment of tonight, I was thinking about the, the parallel. There was, fair to say, an experience gap. You were, after all, debating the man we now know as, as 41 or you know, whatever, or six years now. Six years in the past. So we had debated all the issues that were facing the country at that time, 1990. So, I, I have to tell you, when I was coming to this thing, I was, I was coming from two different directions. It's number one, as a woman, I really wanted her to hold her own and to and to do okay. I was worried about her because of how she had been with her interview with David Hurd uh, and the fact that she was such a Yeah, we'll take a few dollars. He liked one of those roses. He didn't go, no, I don't want a rose. Okay, 